Are you a crafter that loves to create those one-of-a-kind Christmas cards, but you know that each year you have quite a lot to create and you still want to make something that is pretty elegant, glitzy, and glamorous, yet you need to limit how much time you spend on them. Today I'm here to share some of my top tips and techniques on how you can create some of your most favorite Christmas cards using the Holiday Star Collection. So today we're going to be using the tips and techniques to create a beautiful dimensional holiday star. It has kind of that snowflake star look along with some swinging elements and 3D elements. So you can go ahead and use these tips and techniques along with these beautiful color combinations to create Christmas cards that are just one of a kind and you can keep them as simple as you want or you can add that extra pizzazz to really showcase the beauty um, of the Christmas season. So here are a couple uh, cards that have been created with the Holiday Star Collection. I can't wait to share the versatility of this one. Um, here's one with the opening in the center of the card. At the very end, we'll go back and take a little bit more of a detailed look at some of the beautiful, stunning projects you can create with this one-of-a-kind Christmas collection. So before we get started, I wanted to take a look at the stamp and die set that I'll be using. This is the large holiday stars stamp and die set. So with this one, you have multiple images that you can stamp and die cut out in different ways to get very versatile uses with this, which I absolutely love. And as you'll see on the samples as we look through those, you'll see how much diversity and how much versatility you can get with these. So to get started, we're going to create this beautiful dimensional star. Now, I did stamp um, and die cut these out already. So you're going to be able to um, stamp this image in the night sky ink where the dark, where the blue is. And then we also just die cut this base with a white, on white cardstock with that night sky ink. And then we also die cut it out of a silver luxe cardstock. If you don't have the silver and gold luxe cardstock, I highly recommend um, stocking up with that as well for your holiday cards. So to get started, you can really do lots of different layering combinations and techniques. So really all you need to do is just stamp the image in that night sky ink, die cut it out, and then also die cut out this center to open up that image. Now I did two of the same ones so that we can just alternate that and give it a little bit of a silver outline, which is super pretty. So the very first thing you're going to want to do to create this one of a kind star snowflake is you're going to want to use your dry as clear glue and just glue those layers together. Now when you do this combination, not only are you using a very quick tip and technique, but it is something that really adds that pizzazz to your Christmas card without spending a lot of time creating with it. So as you can see, you could just put this on a basic A2 size cardstock, use some of the beautiful pattern paper within this collection. Can't wait to share that with you at the very end. Um, and stamp your little sentiment like season's greetings and you'd have a card. So just kind of look at this as um, something that you can keep super simple or you can really add those next levels and layers to add that next uh, dimension to it. So say you're hand giving this card to your mom, uh, to close friends and relatives, this will be a great step up from just a clean and simple card, a T-size card. So before we go ahead and layer this together, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of coloring to this snowflake. Now I am using the cactus flower, so we're gonna go ahead and just use our sponge dauber and just add a little bit of color in the center. When you do this, it just gives it a little bit of a touch of interest in that center, and it's super simple. You're not doing a lot of coloring, and you're done. Now, when you create with this, you're gonna be able to add some sparkle and snowflakes uh, sparkle to this, and one of the ones that I really like to use is the frosting powder. Now, you can go ahead and do it right now, or you can wait till the very end. I am gonna wait till the end so I can do all my glittering at once, but you can choose how you want to do this at home. Now for this one, I really wanted it to be dimensional in the center, so I just pulled these center pieces up and gave them a little bit of a bend. Now if you are wanting to mail this card, you would skip this option and you would just layer this piece on top. But if you bend that up, it just gives you a little bit more of a dimensional snowflake um, that you can um, add to the center of your card when it's swinging around, it's just so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add some hot glue on the back 
and we'll lay this on top and that will catch um, onto those little uh, inside pieces. So I if you're at home doing this, just lay this aside and give it a little bit of time to dry and you can kind of maneuver that around so that it looks really um, how you want it to and you instantly have that beautiful dimension in the center. And just know you can totally press that down since that is just um, has the dimension with the paper in the background. So hopefully that makes sense for you. Now, before we move to the next step, with these, you can always do some really pretty ornaments. You can do some dimensional um, projects with this. Um, like for this one, you'll see that this is a dimensional ornament type star. So you could do this for Christmas gifts, Christmas uh, tree ornaments, all sorts of fun things like that. But we added that little ornament uh, embellishment with the word Christmas at the very bottom. So if you want to create that, all you have to do is just take the little star and emboss it, stamp it in silver, emboss it in silver, and die cut it out on the Lux Gold cardstock. Fold that in half, and I am going to just do a quick glue with a dry as clear glue. Go ahead and just glue down those tips, go down the side, and you're going to go ahead and make sure that you just have it scored so that each of those pieces is coming together um, that matches side so we're gluing one half of the snowflake to the other half of the snowflake um, and then we'll continue to fold this and we'll add more glue you might want to leave a little bit of time for this to dry so it doesn't slide around for you when you are creating this um, so I'm just going to go ahead and add that next layer of glue we'll bring this in put our snowflake on top and you have this little dimensional snowflake and you can go ahead and glue this other piece to the back of the first one as well. So this is just a great little way to add a little bit of a dimensional piece to your card very quickly and easily. Um, and it still looks like you spent quite a lot of time uh, creating with this one. So you have kind of this uh, three pieces all glued together um, and it comes together so beautifully. So we're gonna have the point at the bottom and then we're going to have two strings. We're going to take the one string and just glue it right in the top. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and first of all, we're going to glue this piece up here and then we'll add the little snowflake at the bottom. So when you go ahead and glue this piece um, to your card base, you get to choose how intricate you want your card base to be. So choose the card base size that you want. Um, for this one, we cut an opening into the front center of the card and we cut a outline of that star into the back of our card base. We did add a piece of pattern paper to the back so that adds a little bit of that blue and sponged around those edges, add a little bit of the background stamping and that stamp um, is this little snowflake stamp which is so, so pretty. I love, love using that as a background stamp. So once you have those stamped, you're ready to add this. Before we add this layer um, to the top, we're going to add our snowflake string. So you're gonna go ahead and just match this um, with the background and I'm going to go ahead and just loop this string through the tip of the snowflake so it's very easy to do. Um, then you're going to go ahead and just lay this into position and glue this on top. So I'm just going to add a little piece of glue and I'm going to add a little bit of glue on top here so we can bring the frame in and then we'll continue to um, glue that down. So we'll bring that frame in Press that down and that is locked into position, which is really cool. And then you can just have that uh, floating in the center, which is so pretty. Um, and I also think this would be cool, like if your friend wanted to, they could clip it off and use it as an ornament on their tree. So it would be kind of like a functional uh, Christmas card. So you could always do that as well. Or you could use this technique and just have a snowflake just free hanging um, as an ornament um, for your home decor projects. So you have that in the center. Now all you need to do is just go ahead and add this little snowflake on the bottom. Now this tip is going to be um, centered and anchored in the bottom. We're gonna take our string and you could loop it through this ornament or you could just glue it on. I think what I'm gonna do uh, today is just loop it over the ornament. We're just gonna grab one of those little tentacles at the bottom um, and you can do this however you prefer. And then just go ahead and add a little bit of glue to the back of this ornament. Bring this string together. And we'll pop that up. 
And you'll want to move pretty quickly if you're using hot glue so that it does not dry before that string is put into place. There we go. And I just press, press, press that up in there. And then you can always clip off that excess string. Isn't that just so cool? I love the simplicity of this, but you're not um, really limiting yourself to all the sparkle and all the glam that you get with your Christmas cards. It is so simple and easy. So you can take this technique and you can simplify it by just gluing this to an A2 size card, adding your sentiment and you're done. Um, or you can take it to the next level and do something as intricate and dimensional as what I'm doing here today. Now for this sentiment, in this collection we have some absolutely exquisite kind of what I call the star of the show. Um, these sentiments are bold. They are absolutely fun to do an ombre coloring technique with. Um, so you can see here's a shaker star and then this beautiful ombre happy holidays on there. So you'll see that scattered across these cards. They are die cut and they are so, so pretty and make a beautiful focal point on your cards. So when you are creating with this, this set has a happy holiday seasons greeting and Merry Christmas. So when you are creating with this one, um, we stamped and embossed it with white ink and white embossing powder. And then we're going to go ahead and um, add a little bit of that ombre color effect. So the Christmas one is already done um, and I'm going to show you how I do them, Mary. Now I did also just die cut one out of white cardstock. So we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue on top. And this gives you a little bit more dimension. So if you want to have like a dimensional sent sentiment piece, just do multiple layers, glue them together, and that gives you a little bit of dimension on your card that is super, super pretty. And then you can go ahead and color this. Super pretty and easy to color. So all you have to do is just use a little bit of cactus uh, flower in the center. And you can also do this technique if you don't want to do any embossing and just do multiple colors of ink onto your stamp and just stamp it and you have like an ombre colored uh, stamp sentiment as well, which is really, really pretty. Um, so we'll do a little bit of the forget me not on top and bottom of this sentiment. And then you can go ahead and glue this down. Before I glue this one down, we are going to use the frosting powder and we're going to add a little bit of glitter. Um, the frosting powder is what I recommend for your Christmas cards using the Holiday Star Collection. The Holiday Star Collection is super pretty and with the frosting powder, it has a little bit of white flex in it. So it gives you a little bit of that a snowy, wintry look very quickly and easily and you don't have to spend a lot of time uh, getting that effect. So we'll just sponge this over the top and then we'll put this back into our tidy tray and oops, let me just grab, get that onto screen so you can see that a little bit better. There we go. And that gives you that uh, glitz and glam very quickly. Now, before we add this to the card, I just wanted to show you some tips on how you can easily add this glitter to your card if you wait um, until the end to add your glitter. So all you have to do is just put a piece of cardstock um, underneath your snowflake, add your glue to your sponge, and then just go back and cover those areas that you want, that are exposed that you want to have a little bit of glitter added to it. And you can also do it around the outside edges of the card. And you can also add, open up the card and add it to the inside if you wanted to as well. So lots of variations, but this is kind of my quick and easy time saving step. Um, when I am making Christmas card, because Lord knows when you're making 50, 100 Christmas cards and you don't want to um, just, you know, spend too much time on each card, you are still able to get those beautiful, beautiful uh, glittery accents and it still looks like you did spend quite a lot of time um, with them. So with that, now you're ready to add your accents. Um, the Christmas one on this one was just linked in. Um, so you have um, you can just set that on top of the snowflake. So we'll go ahead and add just a little bit of glue um, to the back of this so it catches hold on the snowflake. And that will just link in there. So as you can see, these uh, Christmas sentiments that are so bold and focal are absolutely stunning and so pretty to use. I'm just going to flip this over and we'll actually, you know what, let's keep this closed so we can see exactly how this aligns with our snowflake. Um, sometimes I kind of like, wait a minute, do this on the top. My glue is crying a little bit. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just pull this down and we'll just slide this behind it so that we can see how that's going to be viewed from the front. There we go. So that is beautifully positioned. So just like that, you have this stunning uh, Christmas card created. So just spend some time die cutting, coloring, and just having a lot of fun 
creating those one-of-a-kind Christmas cards that you, your friends, and family will love. Now, let's take a look at some more designs that you can create with this that will really uh, get your creativity going uh, for those Christmas cards. So like you saw, you can do these beautiful kind of color it in. You can stamp it with a colored image. You can cut an opening into the card. Um, this is your A2 size card, and that just keeps it really fun, simple, and you're doing just some stunning um, effects with that. You can also um, do some shape cards. So many of you have these background shape dies. Just do a soft, subtle die cutting technique on this snowflake and you have lots of variations. So in the Holiday Star Collection, we do have two different star dies and they can be mixed and matched together. And if you have both of these, it really helps to just bring it all together. So this one you have lots of layers that you can cut apart. You have some straight pieces in there that cut these straight openings for like a layered element um, for your stars, which is really, really pretty. And then you also have some smaller sentiments. So whether you are looking for small sentiments or big focal sentiments, this set has it covered for you. So let's take a look at some more um, samples within this collection. Um, here is the one where you just have the star off to the side. Here's another one in a really beautiful Christmas blue paired with those festive poinsettias that many of you um, got last Christmas season. So you can pull those out again and pair them with this. Isn't this just so pretty with that focal star? If you want to do slimline cards, here's a beautiful slimline card as well. And if you like to do easel cards, just look at how pretty this is on a clear circle paired with those uh, beautiful festive poinsettias and then just look at how pretty that happy holidays is and you could even just use this as a focal piece add little stars to the side and you're good to go so i just love how that turns out here's one using the star just as in a black with a lot of glitter and then using the season's greetings isn't that super stunning oh my gosh i can't get enough of this your holiday card making is going to be so much fun this year this is another one with the star um, as an ornament um, and then you can also do um, a beautiful just kind of dimensional star that flips and folds and then flattens for mailing um, so that is an option for you as well. Um, so as you can see, this collection has endless Christmas card designs that you can use for years to come. This is like that staple in your craft room. Um, here are a couple more that I wanted to show you before I go. Um, just those beautiful icicle blue, those really pretty lavenders. Here's one all done in the silver, super, super stunning. Here's that Happy Holidays again in a softer blue. And then here's one in more of a non-traditional, just a fun uh, Christmas color uh, that's just very non-traditional. So whether you are a traditional girl or non-traditional in your Christmas colors, you get to choose how you want to anchor and really showcase this for your cards. I love how this one really uh, adds those different layers on top so you can just do some really beautiful uh, layering with it. And then once again, you can also do that pretty ornament. Before I go, I wanted to show this pretty paper collection. Now, as you know, when you're creating Christmas cards, you go through lots of paper. So I highly recommend getting two and three of these paper collections. These are absolutely stunning. You've got lots of sentiments in here that you can use on your cards very quickly and easily. And um, just really use those uh, to a, your advantage. So some of these are already colored. Then you've got your Christmas card fronts that you can just also anchor those uh, stars on top of for those quick and easy Christmas cards. So I know you'll have an absolute blast creating your Christmas cards this year um, with the Holiday Star Collection. If you don't have yours yet, make sure to get it ordered. I've added the links below for quick and easy ordering and I can't wait to see what you create. You can share your projects with us right here on Facebook or YouTube. Um, and thank you so much for joining me today. We'll see you next time. Bye.